God bless everyone. This is Brother Mark. Love all family. Everybody who subscribes, everybody who watch. Everybody, thank you for your support and your love. Just want to say thank you and happy Saturday to you. I ain't gonna hold you long, but I do want to talk about this. Love. 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 And I'm gonna read some read a piece of this little snippet of the scripture from Ephesians 5:25. It says, and this is for all of the men. All the men. All the men. It says, husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Again, husbands, love your wife. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. All in a nutshell right there. Love your wife. Don't be selfish. Listen to what she's saying. It may be sometimes you ain't even trying to hear that stuff, but still, listening, having an open air, not only to yourself. We can't be selfish. And I'm speaking for myself too. We can't be selfish. Hmm. We can't be selfish. We have to love our wives. Yes, it's very important. Making them feel they're secure, they're wanted, their needs are met in every aspect, all aspects, I repeat, all, every need, every aspect you can think of has to be fulfilled. Has to be. It said, husbands, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Come on now. Love your wives. Be there for them. They're always there for us. We can't be selfish. And I'm speaking for myself. We can't be selfish. We can't be selfish. To the husbands, especially, love your wives. Be there for them. Support them. Honor them. Don't put them down. Like I said, make them feel comfortable. Make them feel wanted. Make them feel needed. This is why when we all went to that altar, and I'm speaking for me, I said I do to my wife. Because I already know she, she was the one. Some things you just know. I already knew that I already had loved her. And nobody can, could deter me from that. Nobody. No devil in hell can deter me from knowing that I already knew that I loved my wife. Husbands, love your wives. Husbands, love your wives. Husbands, be there for your wives. Husbands, be attentive. Just be attentive. This is, come on, man. Love your wives. That's what the Lord wants us to do. He don't want us putting them down. He don't want us just making them not feel secure around you. Not at all. Love your wives. Love them. This is the reason why the Lord put us together as one. Not man. I'm talking about us. Me, my wife and I. Not y'all. My wife and I together as one. Love them. I used to say it back in the day, oh, she'll walk by me, I'll put my, uh, she walked by a puddle of rain, I'll put my coat over it. Yes, back in them days, people said that. People actually did that. Why? Because they love their wives. The Lord don't want us hurting them. Not at all. He wants them to feel comfortable and safe around us at all times. I know I don't trust people, but I know one thing for sure. I trust the Lord. I love the Lord, but I also trust my wife. It's going to be a long time to open up, but she know it. The Lord's still working on me with those things. 
And I ain't getting no detail. My personal life is my personal life. It's always going to be like that. But my wife and I, we like this. Yes, we're like this. Husbands, love your wives. They need us. We need them, but they need us. Support them. Mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. You can't have a wife looking like a crackhead, looking all skinny, because she ain't ate nothing in two, three weeks. She has to eat. She has to have a stable roof over her head. She has to know that she's going to be always be stable. Always. We may not like our jobs. We may not like whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, it's about making that sacrifice. You know how the Lord made a sacrifice, Jesus made a sacrifice for us on that cross? He sacrificed his life for us, for all of our sins. Jesus Christ sacrificed his life on that cross for us. Ain't that something? Unbelievable. No man, no woman could take that. I don't care who you are. For what he died on for what he did for us, died on the cross, nailed, stuck, slapped, spit on, beat, all those things. He wanted us to love our wives. Always. Always. People always say, Brother Mark, your marriage is like you guys never, because you know why? Because the Lord put us together as one. We got married the right way. The Christian way in the church. I don't knock City Hall, but it ain't in the church. It ain't the same thing with me. I had my family. My wife had her family. It was awesome. It was beautiful. We had Pastor Fife for that. He was. He was. He did that wedding for us. It was awesome. It was beautiful. Beautiful. The Lord just wants us to love our wives. That's that's what He wants, and respect and love and care for them. That's what He wants. This ain't a, a usual a message that I be talking about. It's just he wants to love our wives way more, way more, being more supportive, attentive to their needs, what they need. Having a wife is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. So people are like, oh, we grew from one another. Let me tell you something. It wasn't meant to be from the get-go. That's why you ain't together no more. Love your wives, husbands. Love your wives. All the men who's watching this, love your wife. Love her. Don't matter what she look like. Love her. The Lord puts people together for reasons, not for seasons, for reasons. I couldn't see me doing anything wrong to my wife, hitting her, cussing her out. No, that ain't no marriage. Don't get me wrong. You can repent. But there's a difference between man and female. When a man do something like that to a woman, it, it, she don't feel secure no more like that. And I don't ever want my wife feeling like that. Ever, ever, never. Mm. Never. Never. I want her to, she can always come and talk to me, and I can always come and talk to her about anything. Anything. Like, I talk to the Lord about all my stuff that he already knows anyway, but I can also talk to my wife, who is my buddy. My buddy. You can be married for 45 years, and your wife ain't even your friend. You just married to somebody. My wife is my friend. Perfect example, my cousin Johnny and Vanessa. They're sweet together. I learned a lot of things from my cousin Johnny. Especially you guys, just having a wife, knowing that, she, that she's always going to be there for her, taking care of her. All needs is, all needs is met and fulfilled. How they flow with their marriages is a beautiful thing to see. Beautiful thing to see. They've been married a long time. A long time. Why? Because he loved his wife. So to so all the men, all the husbands, love your wife. Appreciate her. Tell how much you love and you care about her. 
hold the door for her when she's getting out of a car. Open the door for her when she gets in or out of the car. Yes, opening the door, in and out. Walking outside, you walk on the outside, she walk on the inside. Yes, yes. Loving your wife. You can love somebody, but loving the wife totally different. Let me tell you something, it's totally different. Totally different, totally different. The Lord want us to take care of our wives. He gonna take care of us and our wives, but he want us to take care of them as men. Because if they ain't secure, especially if you ain't got a, a Christian woman, it can either happen two ways. If she ain't secure, if she feel like she ain't getting her needs met at home, then wish you thing gone eventually happen. She gonna go out in the world try to find the bubble or Tyrone. What do you think? It's gonna happen. This is why I made sure my wife got all she need, all. Spiritually, physically, and all aspects. And then I'm gonna say this to all the men and in the bed too. Yes. This is grown folks talking to all the husbands and all the men. I never thought for one moment that my wife, oh my God, she's a pain in my, no, none of that, never, never. She don't ask for nothing. That's rare. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. He gave himself for the church. He gave himself for the church. So give yourself to your wife. Give yourself to the wife. And I ain't no hand holding brother. I don't hold hands. And there's a lot of reasons why, but I ain't afraid to hold no hands. But everybody's different. But my wife know I'm always there for her and I ain't that far. I can reach out and touch her. So if I guys got any questions, hmm, good. you can leave an, an email, you can text me to those who got my number. If not, I don't want to tell you. Love your wives. Let them know that you really care for them, that you, you're, you're always going to be there for them, regardless of how it looks, how it feels. If you ain't got down your bank account, that's how you really know. If you ain't got no bread in your bank account, you ain't got nothing in your pockets, butterflies and moths flying out, that's how you really know. And we all go through things. But if you with somebody and you ain't got no bread in your pocket, they look at you like, you know what, I'm out of here. That wasn't your wife. That wasn't your wife at all. She just wanted what you had for the moment. And I met a lot of women like that. Not personally, but I know people told me stories, yes. Husbands, we gotta love our wives. We gotta love our wives. The Lord, he, he sacrificed, died on that cross for us. Died on that cross. Took a tremendous beating. Tremendous beating. And the funny thing about that is, he didn't even have to do that. But he did anyway, because he loved us. You see? Because he loved us and he still loves us. Before I end this video, I was going to say, Marriage is a beautiful thing. But you have, if you're with the right person, if the Lord puts you together with the right person, shall I say that? I love my marriage. Matter of fact, I love my wife. And I'm sorry for those who don't, but I love my wife. And truthfully, I don't even care, but I know I love my wife. 
how they say it? Happy wife, happy life. You got that right. Just love your wives. And this is video where I ain't never talking about this right. This is this is new to me. But whatever the Lord wants, He's always gonna get it. It's gonna get done, regardless, regardless. But I do want to thank all the husbands who are there for their wives, who support their wives, who genuinely love their wives, who would do anything for their wives. I appreciate y'all for doing that, and I thank y'all. Cause I told my wife earlier, it's rare. Things don't change so much. Things like that don't exist no more. Back in the days, but nowadays, no, not at all, not at all. And before I end this, I just want to thank all you guys for your support, all your love, your time. Opening up your 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 your, 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 your homes, your phones, whatever you're watching this on. We we appreciate that. I appreciate that. I thank the Lord for all you guys. I'm gonna continue to pray for all y'all. All y'all. Like y'all pray for me, I'm gonna continue to pray for y'all. If you have any questions, comments, like I said, you can text me if you got my number. If you don't, sorry this sorry to hear that. But we do have a Gmail number. I think it's what? Uh, Gmail. Get serious. Get serious. One. one at, Gmail. at Gmail. Get serious one at Gmail. Dot com. You anything, anything. I love talking or emailing or texting or however you want to say it. But yes, this video is different. And like I said, I ain't doing this for me. This is for the Lord. Whenever yeah, he tells me to stop doing this, and then it will be done. But until then, I'm going to keep doing these videos because I love doing them anyway. And I don't think he ever going to tell me to stop doing these. That's just my opinion. So I, I'm just me. So I just want to thank everybody for your love, support, your time, your patience, bearing with me. Let me doing every, any other things. It's Labor Day weekend. I ain't got time for all that. I know I'm going to be in church tomorrow. Yes, sir. And church tomorrow. Thank you for your time. Love you. Just thank you. Just thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. And with that, I'm gone.